I've had a lot of success over the last couple of months in improving my life and a couple of failures as well. So first, I wanna talk about some of the things that have gone wrong. So the first thing was that I tried to take my e-bike out for a range test and that was shortly after I did the last video on it where I introduced it to everyone. And so I took this new e-bike out. Um, unfortunately, the weekend that I took it out, um, I had worked really long hours the week before and I ended up sleeping in and didn't have time to actually use the full range of the e-bike. Part of the problem now is that I do have two full batteries and actually using both of them in a single day is actually kind of difficult unless you're just going like full throttle all the time. So anyways, I did have a lot of fun. I rode, I think about 40 miles, which was a great ride, but I had to come back because I had to go to sleep, unfortunately. So I ended up not editing that video because there really wasn't anything interesting about that ride. And I decided to do that range test at a future date. I haven't had time since then. And we'll get to why in a little bit. The next thing I was planning on doing was in theory, I was supposed to have my car sold by now, and I can tell you right now that is not happening, and it's for a variety of reasons. What happened shortly after I tried range testing my bike is my hours were cut um, pretty severely, uh, basically back to 40 hours a week. So um, again, I'm kind of back to what I was making at my last job, which, you know, I'm working fewer hours, but at the same time, I'm not actually making a whole lot of progress on saving money or repaying debt, anything like that. Um, the other thing that happened, which makes me not want to sell my car, even if I did have the money, was I learned some very concerning things about the company I worked for. Um, I got a chance to drive down to one of their other locations and found out some things that were happening down there that we weren't really entirely aware of. But whatever the case, I don't feel secure in my job anymore. I am somewhat concerned that I'm going to lose my job. Uh, it's just a matter of time and we'll see what happens, but um, hopefully I'll have left that job before that happens. It makes me not want to get rid of my car because it puts me at risk of not having transportation at whatever my next job is going to be. So uh, for that reason alone, I'm not selling my car at all. I did consider just paying it off and then replacing it with something else, but with interest rates the way they are, um, there's just really no way I could save money without having sold that car to buy something in cash. And so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to sell that car. It's still probably my cheapest transportation option, at least in terms of um, road transportation that is longer range than my bicycle. Um, I do think it's still my best option, so I'm keeping that around. Having said that, I don't regret buying the e-bike and especially this larger e-bike. I still do all of my local shopping, all my commuting on that e-bike, and it saves a lot of wear on my car. It saves a ton of fuel and it will pay for itself actually very quickly. So um, even though it didn't quite work out as planned, um, I'm still pretty okay with the outcome. So now let's talk about some of the successes. So I did manage to find another storage unit. Um, I was replacing a large storage unit that I had out in the middle of nowhere, which was almost inaccessible. And I found one that's actually very close to where I live. It is much smaller. It fits everything that I need and it allowed me to go through everything in that storage unit. And so that's actually what I've been up to for the last several weeks. To make the move was actually kind of a crazy adventure. I ended up waking up, I think about three in the morning, which is actually sleeping in for me. And I rode my bike down to this U-Haul dealership in a sketchy neighborhood that is a little ways from my house. And of course this is all happening, you know, three to four a.m. Uh, I folded up my e-bike, put it in the back of this U-Haul, and then I drove up, emptied out my storage unit, hooked up my sailboat, and um, drove it all back down here. And while I was doing that, I made sure to pack all the trash, all the recycling and stuff, towards the back of the U-Haul. And the plan was to go through and uh, get rid of all that stuff at the transfer station, recycling center, wherever that stuff needed to go. So between the boxes that I had stored and falling apart, and um, Seattle has uh, all their recycling centers and transfer stations and stuff just scattered all over. There's no like central place to um, deposit all of your unwanted things. I wasn't able to actually complete that job. Um, I got the big stuff done. I got the big stuff to the transfer station. Um, got a bunch of stuff to the recycling center. I got rid of an old stove, things like that. So I got the really big stuff that I needed the Hugo haul truck for. And after about 16 hours of driving and moving stuff around, I ended up um, having to take the U-Haul back and just calling it a day. And so I did have a few things left over. 
Um, a lot of that stuff actually just ended up needing to go to my apartment so I could sort through it, figure out what it was, and honestly, I just threw away the vast majority of the stuff or donated it, one of the two. And so I still have a little ways to go with that, but that has occupied most of my last month. Any free time I have has just been sorting through stuff, throwing stuff away. Uh, my apartment is very small, and it was completely packed with stuff from my storage unit. And as soon as I freed up any space, I went down to the storage unit, pulled out more stuff, and repacked my apartment so I could go through more of it. I'm pretty much done with that process now. However, all of my countertops are still a little bit of a mess, and I have a lot of stuff to go through, but my floor is mostly clean. I can actually walk through my apartment now, and we're getting there. It should only be another week, maybe week and a half, before I really finish everything. Another really good thing that happened was, so after selling my piano a couple of months ago, I used that money to pay off a debt. I managed to save up enough money to buy myself a used piano that suits my needs a lot better. It's a lot more portable. It's not falling apart like my old piano. And so I actually have a lot more opportunity to perform, I think, with this piano. I can actually practice with this piano. My last piano, I'm not sure exactly what the issue was, but um, I got a couple of noise complaints while I was practicing. It may not have had anything to do with me because I only practiced with headphones on, but I was concerned enough that that was one of the motivating factors for me to actually sell that old piano and get a new one. Uh, so this new one is much more portable. It sounds a lot better. I can record off it much more easily. And if I ever get back into performing again, um, I can take it to whatever location I need to. I'm not quite as bound to locations with decent pianos like I used to be. And that was a huge problem when I was trying to perform you know, four or five years ago. And the next thing is um, I did manage to get this boat. So this is a prototype of one of my designs that I designed. And I had that prototype that I was building back when I had my schoolie a few years ago. It is um, very close to being done, actually. I just needed a few parts. Um, it started growing a little bit of mold <laughs> sitting in the storage unit. It's not the most mold-resistant wood out there. Uh, so I'm going to have to clean that off, and um, that actually won't take very long to finish up. I already 3D printed the tool I need to finish that project. I just need a little bit of cleaner and um, just a little bit of time to finish that. And then I'll probably put my uh, boat design website back up and start selling this boat plan again, see if this prototype makes any difference in sales. Um, I think it probably will, but... I don't really know. My top priority has really been getting my apartment clean enough that I can actually function again. But probably the biggest thing that happened while I was doing all this and not really paying a lot of attention to my YouTube channel was I did manage to reach 1,000 subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing. I am not quite fully monetized, unfortunately. Since I stopped posting, um, unfortunately, my watch hours got a little bit behind again. So uh, hopefully if I start posting again, I'll get that watch hours back up to where they should be and then I will be fully monetized. And I can use that money from the monetization, even though it's not gonna be a lot of money, I can actually use that to work on a lot of other projects. So um, fingers crossed that that happens fairly soon, um, but if it doesn't, I do have projects that I still need to finish it up, and that's really all that's been going on around here. 